So that's about as smooth as you can get through the entire throttle curve and everything looked really good. But you can see all weekend I was dealing with this. I've been working on the second reverb at the Helio Odin tuning series and I noticed that I kept having this weird issue as you can see a true mid throttle oscillation and I'll show you exactly where that is and what that looks like right here so the quad felt great it was completely locked in everything was just great but I had as you can see the yellow blue and red lines here super smooth gyro traces but then anytime I was between about 1380 and about 1520 on the throttle I would get this and I tried changing it with I knew my Q values and my W values were good I tried playing around with different props and it would kind of move around I think the highest I could get it was like maybe 1510 to like 1590 um, you know just right there in the middle which is so annoying because if it was a little bit higher I could probably deal with it because I could just use the ship as like a cruiser but you know I didn't want to give up on it and was working with uh, Fellstar last night and he brought up resonance and so there were some things that I did on the build I wanted to check out so you know I had two motor bolts so I went to four I tried going back to Q values and nothing changed because everything was just great like you know there was no reason to change these except for this so naturally you think maybe it's a PID problem but the thing about Odin is once you have your cues dialed in you can just at least on the reverb frames, I don't know about other stuff, you know, people are doing crazy stuff with seven inches and everything. And when you don't have like six, seven different pitches of props and stuff to test, you're kind of limited as far as what you have. I've been down that road with like the long range stuff back seven, eight months ago now when we didn't have like all the good props that we do now. So I so after trying all the mechanical stuff, I mean, really the only thing left to do was to go in and actually take a look at the stack and do some uh, changes to how things were configured. Because I have gotten away from soft mounting and just using grommets because I usually find that they're just fine. So if you take a look, this is the way that the stack was. And now what I have done is I have actually taken the orange butter mounts from Flight Club and stuck them underneath the Helio in between the plastic nylon, uh, nylon screws there and the Helio and then I just added another layer of those on top like you see here and then put my VTX and everything there it's a tight fit up here with the battery strap but no big deal because everything looks great now so I'm going to put up a flight and you can take a look at it. This is kind of close to like the tuned flight that we'll be seeing, the tuned PIDs that, that I'll be going over with in the video. Made some changes. Been doing a lot of testing and some other people have this weekend too as well. So, you know, you make a video in YouTube about something hot and it changes 40 out later, 48 hours later. But the same premises stick by is that you have to like be willing to like change your setup to like get results. Don't blame it on firmware. You need to like be flexible and check some things out. So here is the ripping of this new Helio now. It's not pretty, but it's just a lot of just ripping and testing out. And especially these uh, 5.146 HQ props, man, they're pretty sweet. Oh, oh.